what's up. All right. Are you okay? I'm well, thank you. It's hard to foresee whether a truly decisive war against the invaders is still to come. But we must be prepared. Last log. Kicked out of the seedling fields, banned from working as a scrap collector, and sent to the mines. I'm telling you, whoever listens to this, Rat is doing this on purpose. Get the fuck out. I'll start my own gang, hire some of the old boys in a terrace. Leave my shit here, I won't need it anyway. Not if I can rob enough to keep my head above water. Fucking four hilled and fucking scrappy, can kiss my fucking ass. Seriously. Whoever finds this shit can keep it. And if you're fed up with the Berserkers too, come find me. I'll bring back the glory days of the old outlaws. No Baxter or Brad, no Logan or Nasty. I'll be the king. And anyone who questions me dies. Once my gang is big enough, I'll take back the fort. Yeah. Hey, Willie, what are you doing back there? I'll fuck off, you... The air here seems to be contaminated. I should let Scrappy know.
Back from the mine. Everyone's dead. What the fuck you talking about, Jax? What the hell happened? I think the mine was flooded with gas. It reeked. Well, damn. That explains why the poor bastards ain't been sending shit. You wanted into the fort, right? Go to Fenris. Someone's gotta tell him what happened. If we ain't getting no iron from the mine, well, it's a real shit sandwich. What if they don't let me into the fort? Just tell God her I sent you. And don't let that motherfucker scare you off. But you gotta hurry, son. This is a fucking emergency. me something? Sure. Welcome, stranger. If you want to buy or sell, then I'm your man. I only sell the best wares. Interested? Of course.
A good deal. If you ever need anything else, just come to me. Obviously, very highly advanced back then.
Scrappy sent me. I need to talk to Fenris. What do you need to talk to Fenris about? I'll tell him myself. But I want to hear it. Let me pass if you care about the Iron Mine at all. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Before I let you in, you gotta know the rules. You can move around the fort freely. Except for the upper district. Only a chosen few can go there. If you try to get in, the guards will take care of you. If you steal something, the guards will take care of you. If you start a fight, the guards will take care of you. And if you've got a knife to someone's throat... I get it. The guards will take care of me. Nope. That's when we bury you. You get the point? Okay, go on, get out of here. What about a tour of the place? Of course, the tour. The boss is sick of all the newcomers' questions. Stryker can show you around the fort, okay? I wasn't really listening to what Gardar told you. But you must want to know where to get food. I can explain that and more on the way. There's bound to be a few things you don't know about. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready. Take me on a tour of the camp. I was just getting ready to stretch my legs. Come on, then. Living quarters are located directly behind the entrance to the fort. Most cultivators and simple workers live here. You won't find any fucking snobs down here. They all live in the upper district. Man. Remember how this place used to look? Yeah. A whole lot more desert. Seeing what we've made here makes me proud to be a berserker. Sorry for rambling on like that. Name's Brambart. Nice to meet you. Ah. Tell me, do you have any news from the border regions of Caracas? The Morcons attacked one of the World Hearts there. Really? Oh boy, that's tough. Why are you so interested? We're wearing ourselves pretty thin in the inland of Tavar, in the coastal areas too. But the way I see it, the real danger comes from outside. Not enough of us in Caracas. It'll be our undoing. Ugh. Shit. It's time we took better care of me. At some point, I'll get myself over to Caracas to check everything's okay. No dawdling. So many interruptions. Where was I? You won't find any fucking snobs down here. They all live in the upper district. I'll show you that later, I guess. Even though they won't let you in. I got nothing to say about that. Are you serious? You must have had a lot of kind of crap. Nah, if you say so. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. I know who you're if you want about. your daily rations for free, talk to Skinny outside if he's there. Or is there something else I can help you with? Give me something to eat. What are you hungry for? Sure. Apparently, they live on the ground. You deserve that. This way. Skinny Soup Kitchen. 
You want something to eat and you're short on shards, Skinny's the man to talk to. You want to grab something before we keep going? do. Will you wait here? No. I'll come with you. Make sure you don't get lost. Hey, want a bowl of soup? It's free. in the soup. Oh, veg, meat, and my secret ingredient. A splash of liquor. Duh. I call it skinny special. <laughs> All the body needs and more. Why are you giving away food? Rats set it up. Hungry people are more likely to rebel. He wants to, uh, ensure nobody starts questioning his leadership. Give me something to eat. Here, enjoy. You're entitled to one bowl of soup a day, that's one. If you want it, alright? Give me something to eat. You already have your rations. Come back tomorrow. Got your soup? Let's keep going. Thanks for the tour. You sh nah, let's... Good. If we head over the bridge, we'll be in the trade district. Most of the bastards here want real shards for whatever they sell. They're not as agreeable as old Skinny. Sometimes you'll find traders from other factions here. Don't let them take you for a ride. If it was up to Gardar, they'd all be kicked out. I don't care. Let them trade if they want to. Not my problem. Can I help you? Are you looking for something in particular? So, how are things going with the shop? No, oh, could be better. Times are hard. Ever since Skinny opened that soup kitchen and started giving away food for free, I've been losing customers. And that Morcon trader who's made himself at home here isn't helping. I wish the City Watch would stop talking and finally throw him out of the fort. Now, yeah, but what can you do? You have to keep going somehow. So you roll your sleeves up and get back to work. What about it? You wanna buy anything?
Get Sounds started. like bullshit to me. That's not the story I heard. I don't know the guy. Not my problem. No dawdling. Ah, uh, welcome, welcome. I have everything the heart desires. Need new gear? Then I'm your man. Let's see, what can I palm off on? I mean, what can I sell to you? Sell, sell. Business going well? What a question, my friend. They flock from near and far for the pleasure of buying from me. I only stock the most exclusive goods, so take your time, look around, and uh, don't forget to come and see me before you head out into the wilderness. Get started. Welcome to the Sleepy Traveler. We rent our rooms by the week only. 70 shards a week, no breakfast or other fancy stuff included. So, will you be staying with us? Want to take a look at some of the stalls before we keep going? Yeah. Good. Means I can treat. Good to see you. Valued customer. Yeah, please, feel free to browse my wares. You won't regret it. Whatever you need, whatever your circumstances, I'm the merchant for you. Oh, you are going to buy something, aren't you? Wares beyond your wildest... Doesn't look all that impressive. <sighs> Business. Hardly have any customers these days. Hey, look, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you... What's a Morcon doing in Berserker territory? I'm a merchant. Uh, uh, traveling one. Here of all places? Listen, I need the shards to feed my family. But that's none of your business. Why would a stranger care about my life story? Are the berserk? <laughs> Small understatement, that. The other merchants are doing a great job of scaring off my... I've tried everything in the book, but not having any luck. You'd think I'm some child-eating monster, the way people avoid me. I'm just trying to mind my own business, literally. Things go missing, it's my fault. Things break, it's my fault. Any issues, really, my fault. I can't go back to Caracas empty-handed, so gotta put up with this crap. Why don't you complain? To who? The guards? Heard the phrase, pissing in the wind? 
Who are they gonna believe? Me or the Berserker merchants? Besides, the merchants aren't my only problem. You have others? I uh, recently made a deal with the innkeeper, Chloe. I get her some exotic crap from Caracas in return for food rations. Of course, I jumped at it. The cuisine in the grotto isn't exactly, uh, uh overburdened with variety. But, uh, oh, not this crap again. Hold on. Hands where I can see him, Scab. We were just... Shut it. What the fuck is that? That right there? This? It's just... Junk. Low-grade shit. No, no, I'd never dream of selling. Shut it, asshole. I'm on the lookout for goods that aren't of legal standard. Huh, this looks, uh, fairly above board. Must be your lucky day, pal. Does that mean we're done here? You're gonna wait here like a good little boy till I say we're done. Your turn, pal. Is this Morgon merchant trying to peddle third-rate shit? What makes you say that? Just answer the damn question! Back off. We were just talking. Just talking, huh? Haven't you heard all the complaints? Sky-high prices, shitty goods... None of that's true. It's all lies! Wasn't asking you, shit brain. Shut it! If I notice anything suspect, Anything at all, they'll be trouble. So watch yourself, that's what I say. Are you finished? You better not be disrespecting me. Yeah, we can leave it there. Carry on. <sighs> not a day goes by. It's a never-ending cycle. But anyway, not your concern. I wanted to talk to you about something. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, as you might have guessed, she didn't uphold her end of the bargain. Remind me, what was this about? A deal I made with Chloe. We came to an understanding, at least uh, I thought we had. I'd get her some fancy stuff from the grotto, and in return, she'd give me food rations. Well, let's just say I haven't seen much. Why don't you work this out with her? But I can't just leave my wares. Think of what'd happen if I did. Would you mind bringing this up with Chloe? Find out where my rations are? If you can sort that, I could even take you to Caracas, if you like. Sure, you don't want to spend your whole life rotting in this dump, right? Well, what do you say? Why me? Do you really need to ask? You don't belong to the very exclusive Don't Instantly Treat Ivan Like Shit Club. If there were any other members, I'd ask them to be honest. But you're the closest thing I have to an ally here. What if I don't want to go to Caracas? Well, you could join me anyway. I'd sure appreciate a companion to relieve the boredom. Boredom, right. Uh, okay, I admit. I wouldn't mind the protection. The route's full of nasty surprises. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Eh, I don't like to say too much, you know. But uh, anyway, back to my food problem. Just let me know if you're going to see Chloe. You'll need the details. In the meantime, feel free to peruse my wares. You never did get around to it. <sighs> okay. I'll speak to Chloe and see what happened to your rations. Ravok knows I don't have anyone else to turn to. Can't tell you how grateful I am. Uh, Chloe owes me a few pallets of canned meat and spices. But to be honest, I don't care what it is, as long as it's canned. Ideally not rat meat, though. Eh, had my fair share of that, I can tell you. 
Is that everything? Well, there is one more wrinkle. It could be tough to get to her. You'll first have to get past her doorman. He's as dumb as a post. Takes his job far too seriously as well. At least he does where I'm concerned. Anyway, that's all you need to know. Bye for now. Let's trade. That's what I like. Let's trade. Sounds good. Let's trade. Sounds good. I'm ready. Let's keep going. Okay, one other thing you should know. This district also has the Sleepy Traveler, a hotel for the traders. So, if you ever need a good night's sleep, well, you can get that here. Good to know. Right, well, let's keep going. On our left, you'll see the Mana Shrine. Is that right? Well then... This is where the real berserkers play around with Elix, magic, all that type of shit. I don't touch that stuff. We'll go to my... I'm pretty good with faces, and yours is new around here. So spit it out. Who are you? Name's Jax. All right, then. Next question. Faction. Which one do you belong to? I don't belong to anyone. Better not be lying to me. Why would I lie about that? 
guess we'll see. Just remember, I'm gonna be watching you real close. Do you interrogate everybody like this? We have to be extra careful these days. There's been a few undesirables hanging around the fort. And they could be anywhere. But you seem to check out. You could smell those bastards a mile away. Bottom line, though, we need to find them soon. Fort's had enough trouble lately. Who are these people you're talking about? They're the ones who tried to kill Rat. You must have seen their propaganda. It's all over the fort. You know, the outlaw flyers. Yeah, I've seen it. Hard not to. The damn things are everywhere. Warlord Rat's not gonna let the outlaws spread their lies like this. It's my job to put a stop to them. You get to help me. How exciting is that? All right, I'm in. Well, that was easy. Glad to see you're so eager to do your duty. The city guard appreciates it. What do you know about the attempt on Rat's life? Didn't Fenris explain everything? Uh, all right, I'll give you the short version. The outlaws managed to plant a bomb in the upper district, but the whole scheme fell apart. After that, Rat had the area closed off. Only people we know we can trust are allowed in. Ever since, that propaganda has been showing up all over the fort. Wish I could tell you more, but that's all I know. How can we find the source of the outlaw propaganda? Well, the bastards who spread this stuff did leave some clues behind. Such as? Here's one of the flyers they've been putting up. Here's one of the nails they use to hang them. Take a good look at them. See if you notice the same things I did. Not bad. No dawdling. This is where the real berserkers play around with Phoenix, magic, all that type of shit. I don't touch that stuff. We'll go to my shrine in a minute. Chloe's Berserker Shrine. <laughs> Here we are, the most holy of holy places, the bar. Chloe's the only person who got to keep her post when the berserkers took over. She ran this joint when this place was a desert, and she's still in charge now. The berserkers like Chloe keep the bar? That's what I just said. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, they really changed every other fucking thing. At first, I was like, what is this shit? Why do I have to join these tree huggers? But I got used to it. Their rules make sense when you think about it. And boy, those guys know how to brew beer. I can taste it now. Even the armor's more comfortable than those pieces of shit Baxter used to give us. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about being a berserker. But enough talk. You gonna buy me a beer, or shall we keep going? I'd like to go in and take a look. No problem, I can wait. Just don't forget my beer. What do I care? I don't believe it. 